want to get you straight to some breaking news. This jackknife 18 wheeler on I 10 the Katy Freeway outbound at Blaylock has several lanes blocked. Let's show that to you from Sky 13. Traffic, as you can see, just struggling to get around this 18 wheeler that's running perpendicular now to the flow of traffic. You're able to get by on the right lanes, but very slow with four lanes completely shut down. Now, this is outbound westbound between Gessner and Blaylock. So if you are going that direction, maybe heading out to the energy corridor for work or past the beltway, the West Chase area, you will notice traffic backing up all the way through the Spring Branch area. Now, if you'll take a look in the center of your screen, you can see the managed lanes are open. That is an option, but a big hang up for the morning drive in. Tom, we'll send it over to you. Well, it has been a busy morning of breaking news. ABC 13 reporter Charlie Ed today is live in Houston's East End, where police are still looking for this missing 94 year old man. Yeah, that's right, Tom. A frantic search now underway to find him. And this man is 94 years old, so very elderly. His family tells us that his name is Richard Jennings, and they last heard from him around 6 o'clock last night. They say he was driving along Emancipation Avenue and called a family member saying that he was stuck in traffic and that he also was lost. And that's the last time that they say they heard from him. And he had gone earlier to go get an oil change at the Volkswagen dealership of Richmond and Kirby. And they just say the family says that it's not like him to disappear like this. They also said that they're worried about his mental state. And so this is important information right here. He is driving a 2011 Brown Volkswagen Jetta. The license plate is 2DDPH. And so again, the family extremely worried about their loved one. If you have any information, you are urged to contact HPD. In downtown Charlie at City, ABC 13, I would assume. I'm Courtney Fisher, live from Houston Fire Department, number 18 at the corner of Lockwood and Telephone Road, where a man actually crashed his car through the wall, the brick wall of the station. You can see it right there. Here's the Dodge crossover, literally stuck in the bricks overnight. He was drunk or high or on medication, investigators say. On the other side of this wall is the break room. One firefighter was standing there, knocked unconscious. He's awake now. He'll be okay after going to the hospital. Normally, though, there are a lot of people in that room, but seconds before the crash, they got called out. The man was arrested and charged with a DWI. I should mention that Houston City workers have been here inspecting the building to make sure it's safe moving forward. For now, reporting live, Courtney Fisher, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. In just over two hours, the Democratic presidential candidate Mike Bloomberg will be speaking to a crowd in downtown Houston. He is campaigning for votes ahead of Super Tuesday, hoping to get the vote out early before that early voting ends tomorrow. He'll be holding a rally at the Rustic. That's on Polk Street. Doors open at 930. The Livestock Show Rodeo is about to go into full gear. Barbecue teams have gathered at Energy to compete in the World Championship Barbecue Contest. ABC 13 reporter Jeff Ealing live now with more about that. Jeff. Hey, good morning, Tom. You know, I've been showing you the food all morning long, but I want to show you inside one of these tents. This is the Holy Cow Cooker's Tent, and this is where the fun happens Thursday, Friday, Saturday night. These guys are one of more than 250 barbecue teams competing in the World Championship Barbecue Contest. One of the winners of this week's Rodeo Uncorked and Best Bites competition is Killins in the Heights. They won the Rookie Award Sunday night for their smoked brisket enchiladas, and there's a lot more where this came from at their original location in Pearland. Back in 1950, this was like the first cafeteria for the high schools and also the intermediate. We have actually pictures of the kids when they were lining up to go into the building. If anything came full circle, that was it. When you drive by, there's a special smell, and that's really all you need to know. It, there, there's something special in the air here. Everybody's got to try it. That's a huge plate. Tell them Ronnie made it. Ronnie made it? Yeah. The secret, we buy the best product we can get our hands on, and it's up to us to mess it up. This is the best barbecue I've had, but this barbecue chicken. Take good meat, put it on a pit, you burn a good, clean fire. The byproduct is barbecue that's outstanding. The food is excellent. The best barbecue you can get in the state, I think. Oh, it's delicious. It's the best in Texas. I cook, so I know. We're known for our beef rib countrywide. And we go through probably 1,500 pounds minimum of brisket a day, and on the weekends, it's, it's actually a lot more. Well, I go to church right there, and I always saw the lineups here every Sunday, like all the way out in the street, even on like summer days. So I figured it has to have really good food. We started that whole thing in Houston, you know, with the line and how we created a sense of urgency for people to come in and, and eat. 
For more locally stories, go to our website, abc13.com. If you are lucky enough to get in the Holy Cow Cookers tent and they like you, they might, just might, let you ride the cow up there. You see it up there. I'm told it's a wild ride indeed. Remember, the tents are invitation only, but if you do buy a ticket to come to the barbecue cook-off, you will be treated to a sliced brisket plate with chips and beans from the chuck wagon, and you can also enjoy the midway as well. Something for Everybody reporting live, Jeff Ealing, 13, ABC 13, Edwards News. Thanks, Jeff. And if you're new to Houston, you just got to try it out, even though it's going to be a tough, tough morning, or excuse me, a tough weekend to get out there in traffic. All right. Going to be a beautiful weekend, though, for weather. It, it will. And you know what? That's part of the ambiance, though. You got to go in there, park, and walking towards it, hearing everything, smelling the food. I mean, I can't believe it's already rodeo time. Can you believe it's almost March? All right. Live shot outside towards the Southwest Freeway, our tower camera. Plenty of sun out there. Had many spots near that light freeze this morning. Still right there as you're watching us here on your streaming device or abc13.com again we're going to warm up as we go through the weekend 70 degrees on saturday 75 then on sunday monday 77 80 by next tuesday and that's when our next chance of storms comes in some of those could be on the strong side but again we'll expand more on that coming up what to wear this morning coat light coat and then jacket by noon sunglasses three o'clock maybe light jacket still and then coat later tonight here's the barbecue forecast for tonight five o'clock 53 still a little cool uh it's going to be chilly out there 49 by seven o'clock by nine o'clock you can see 44 40 degrees at 11 o'clock but warm right up as we head then in towards the weekend brilliant sunshine there memorial camera looking towards downtown Town. All right, over the weekend, high pressure ridge, set, ridge shuts up. You know what that means? Warmer air, drier air, nice conditions all the way through Monday. Then on Tuesday, the next jet stream system starts to move in. This could uh, form some thunderstorms, some strong or severe along the eastern sides of the state. This does include us, at least at this point, where the Storm Prediction Center is targeting for Tuesday, but still a ways out. Plenty of time to see it shift a little east or a little north, so we'll keep you updated. 60% chance of rain on Tuesday. Until then, warming up up to 57 this afternoon. Some spots feeling like nearing 60, nearing almost 70 tomorrow before warming up into the weekend. Catherine. And back to barbecue because it will likely affect your traffic if you are driving near NRG on South Houston or along the 610 interchange near 288. So traffic there, of course, a little sluggish with barbecue. So if you're heading out there, give yourself extra time. If you are planning on getting a ride out to all the festivities, Lyft and Uber has a drop off and pick up in the yellow lot. $20 on site parking is available, but of course, Metro Park and Ride and Rodeo Express also options for you as well. We've posted all of those online at abc13.com for you to take a look at. But of course, just give yourself extra time and make your plan in advance before you get in the car. All right, and that's all the time we have for the news this morning. We'll update you all day long at abc13.com. Have a great day.